let us take some questions. We have finished with the laws of indices. Now let's take some questions on indices. Solve them. As we solve them, we apply the laws of indices in solving them. And I will want you to follow effectively in that. It's going to help you understand the topic very well. So let us take a question. 2 raised to the power 3, question 1. 2 raised to the power 3 times 8 raised to the power 2 times 32. Watch here. We have 2 here already. If you come here, you discover that 2 is the lowest base we have here. So, if, and the numbers here are even. I don't know if you're getting me. The numbers here are even. So let's see if we can reduce them to base 2, 2, 2, 2. That is to say, 2 raised to power 3 times 8 is the same thing. If you watch from there, if you watch from the, from what I gave you here, 8 is the same thing as 2 raised to power 3. So what does it refer to this chart I gave you? As a beginner, as a learner, when you are used to it, then you can work without it. It is the same thing as 2 raised to power 3. And the same age is raised to power 2. This I want you to prove. Just both. See it. Now, the same age is raised to power 2. 2 raised to power 3 is representing 8. And know that the same age is raised to power 2. 10 times 32. You know that 32 is 2 raised to power 5. From what we have there. Now, what we'll now do is this, is 2 raised to power 3 times, 2 raised to power 3 times 2 is 6, times 2 raised to power 5, which is equal to, the, all of them has the same, have the same base. We take 1, 2, add the powers, 3 plus 6 plus 5, which is equal to 2 raised to power 11. As simple as that. Let's take another question. Plus five. Okay. Yeah, please. Plus five, rather. Three plus six. Three plus six plus five. Three plus six. This is three plus six is nine. 3 plus 6 plus 5. So it's going to be what? 14. 3 plus 6 is 9. 9 plus 5 is 14. This is 2 raised to power 14. Please. Now let's take the next question. If we have something like 49 raised to power 5 divided by 7 raised to power 8 we have 7 as the list base here and we know that what do we raise 7 to power to give us 49 it is 7 raised to power 2 remember it's also raised to power 5 this is a bracket divided by 7 raised to power 8 this will be equal to 7 raised to the power 2, this is 2 times 5, this is 7 raised to the power 10, divided by 7 raised to the power 8. And they have the same base here. This is going to be 7 raised to the power 10 minus 8, which is what? 7 raised to the power 2. Now let us take another question. If we have 16 over 81, 16 over 81, all raised to power 1 over 4. 1 over 4. This is equal to, remember, 
from the laws. 16 here is raised to power 1 over 4. All over 81 is the same thing. 81 is raised to power 1 over 4. Because both of them are sharing the index. If that is the case, this will be equal to 16 is the same thing as 2 raised to power 4 is 16. And this is raised to power 1 over 4. All over. It's 1 is the same thing as 3 raised to power 4. Listen, what we are looking for is this. What do we raise to power of the denominator of this index? So that it will be easier for us to cancel out. Because we have 9 raised to power 2 to give us 81. If we say 9 raised to power 2 here, it makes no sense of the whole thing. It would make us go a longer way than we, would, uh, we should have done here. Now, this is 3 raised to power 4 is something as 81 raised to power 1 over 4. So we are looking for what to raise to power of the denominator, so that it, of the index, so that it will be easier for us to cancel out. So that this will be equal to 2 raised to power 4 times 1 over 4, all over 3 raised to power 4 times 1 over 4. This will cancel out this, this will cancel out this. This is now 2 over what? 3 as our answer. Pause and copy while we take another question. If we have something like this, 3 raised to power 9 times 5 raised to power 3 all that is the cube root this is cube root they say simplify There's a simplified cube root of 3 raised to power 9 times 5 raised to power 3. Now, if we are asked to simplify this from here, this is what we are going to do. Now, you know that cube root here, let me tell you another way of finding this. Cube root here, you know that it is 1 over 3. This is the same thing as saying, watch. This is the same thing as saying 3 raised to power 9 times 5. Okay, put it this way. 3 raised to power 9 times 5 raised to power 3. All raised to power 1 over 3. Remember, this is the root and this is the power. So that if you open up, you're going to have... 3 raised to power 9 times 1 over 3 times 5 raised to power 3 times 1 over 3. So that 3 will cancel out 3. 3 here, 1 here, 3. Which is what? 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27 times 5. Which will give us 27 times 5. Well, your 5 times 7 is 35, carry 3. 5 times 2, 10 plus 3, 13, which is 135. Your answer. I want you to pick that. Then we'll go to the next question. Something like this 16 raised to the power 1 over 4. 16 raised to the power 1 over 4 times 8 raised to the power 2 over 3. 8 raised to the power 2 over 3. All over 
32 raised to the power 4 over 5. 32 raised to the power 4 over 5. I believe you can handle this. Now, this is equal to 16 is something as 2 raised to the power 4. All is multiplied by 1 over 4 times 8 is the same thing as 2 raised to the power 3 multiplied by 2 over 3. All over 32 is the same thing as 2 raised to the power 5 multiplied by 4 over 5. So that 4 will cancel out 4, 3 will cancel out 3, 5 will cancel out 5. What will be remaining there is 2 raised to the power 1 is 2 times 2 raised to the power 2 all over, this is 2 raised to the power 1 times 2 raised to the power 2 all over 2 raised to the power 4 which is equal to here they have the sum base here I don't know if you're following it will now give us 2 raised to power, they have the same base, we take 1, which is 1 plus 2, all over 2 raised to power 4, which is equal to 2 raised to power 3 over 2 raised to power 4. And 2 raised to power 3 is the same thing as 2 raised to power 3 divided by 2 raised to power 4 which is equal to they have the sum base here we we'll take one, 2 raised to power 3 minus 4 which is 2 raised to power minus 1 which is 2 1 over 2 because this is 2 raised to power minus 1 to remove the negative sign, the negative sign changes to 1 over then 2 raised to the power 1, which is the same thing as uh, 2. So this is the answer here is uh, half. We solve this one in a, a bit in a haste, so you just have to replay it so that you understand what we have done there. So the essence is for us to be able to take more questions. Now we are going to wipe. I believe you have taken down the notes. Let's take another question. If we have something like this, Eight raised to power two. Eight raised to power two times sixteen. All over two raised to power five. All raised to power two. Now let us take this one. Eight is the same thing as two raised to power three. The reason I am doing this is for you to see how we are raising them to their lowest base and working it out. 2 raised to the power 3 is the same thing as 8 and everything is raised to the power 2 multiplied by what? 16 16 is the same thing as 2 raised to the power 4 all over 2 raised to the power 5 all raised to the uh, multiply out by 2 now this will be equal to here yeah, this is 2 raised to the power 3 times 2 is 6 times 2 raised to the power 4 all over 2 raised to the power 5 times 2 is what? 10. So that here they have the sum base and the powers will be added. This is 2 raised to the power 6 plus 4 all over 2 raised to the power 10, which is equal to 2 raised to the power 6 plus 4 is 2 raised to the power 10 all over 2 raised to the power 10. If we transform it to the second law, which is 2 raised to the power 10 divided by 2 raised to the power 10. It's, it will give us this here, it has the sum base. 
we have take one of them, which is two. We we'll subtract the powers, which is 10 minus 10, which is two raised to power zero, which is equal to one as your answer. Which is equal to one as your answer. You see the systematic nature and the logical nature as you apply the laws, you discover that everything about indices is simple. Just apply the laws, follow the laws.